Welcome to Cooking with the Pacific Star. We are back with, uh, I think it's our fifth episode for the year. And this is the May episode. And uh, I'd like to welcome back our host, my co-host, Kyle. Kyle, come on in. Hey! I've been here the whole time. You have yeah. really comfortable floors. Yeah, welcome back. Thank and then you. today we have a real surprise. We have with us a very uh, famous lady. Not, not just famous, she's absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to bring in the chocolate queen of the Philippines, of Cebu, chocolate queen of Cebu and probably the Philippines. <laughs> uh, uh, Miss Raquel Tokero Choa. Awesome. Come on, right Come on in. in. Raquel, welcome. Hi, welcome everyone. to Guam. Okay. Wow. Thank you so much for the welcome. So, I need a lot of time for this, so I'm going to it's make it so real great quick. To see. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So it's Thank like you, this. Mara. Raquel is the chocolate queen. Philippines, if you don't know, produces the most cocoa in the world. Wow. So from that, you make cho uh, you make chocolate. But chocolate has been, you know, going all over. They export it, and other countries make it. But now she has taken it and produced some of the most fabulous chocolate from the Philippines. So Raquel is going to go straight into it and she's going to show us from scratch how chocolate, the cocoa is, you know, transformed. I've never seen so much chocolate in my life. It smells amazing. And then later we'll bring in also her whole family, you know, her two kids, Jonathan and uh, Hannah, who are involved with the thing and her partner, Edu, uh, they're all here. The whole family is in chocolate. Wow. <laughs> uh, this is the family that chocolate <laughs> made, okay? All right, here we go. Okay, it's all yours. So, thank you so much, GM. So what I'm going to do now is, um, you saw this picture, so I'm going to make um, chocolate, but everyone called it chocolate, but basically I'm going to do a cacao mm -hmm. bola. So, this is the traditional or the artisanal way of making chocolate. So ah. here you go, Carl. So Say first one step, more time the name. Chocolate de bola. Cacao, cacao de bola. De bola. Yes. Bola. So, bola. Bola. bola de cacao. So here you go. Of yeah. course, a simple uh, tool that we're going to use, the mortar and the pestle. She brought all this from yeah. the Philippines. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay, then uh, here you go. I'm going to... Would you mind? Here you go, system? girl. I'm a pro at this. Okay. Saves me tons of money on my power bill. Okay. So the first step is um, we're going to roast the fermented cacao beans. Let me allow me to show you what is the cacao so beans. So that, that is the bean, the big one. Yeah, here okay. you go. And inside that is the cacao bean. Yes. This so is the dry, this is the dry cacao pod. Oh, so inside wow. of this dry cacao pod. We will try it. it, yeah. This is the cacao beans, dried mm -hmm. and fermented. Then the next step is um, we're going to roast it. Okay. Here you go. Um, we'll switch off or you're going to... Supposedly, this is the right way. There you go. Ah. So we roast it. Okay. And then wait until... When I was a, when I was a little girl, one of the indicators that is the cacao beans is ready for pounding. All we have to do is just listen the sound of the popping like popcorn. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Kyle, you're next to yeah, so I'm telling you. Since the time is quite a little uh, mm -hmm. short, so we're not waiting until the cacao beans will pop. So That's what it looks like the, when it's popped, the ready, right? Yep, yeah, the ready one. Here you go. And after, after that, we will peel off by hand individually. Carl, I need that too. So you this is some that you already done, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Here you go. Okay. Yeah. So you've been doing this since you were a girl? When I was a little girl, when I was seven years old. Wow, no wonder you smell so the, good. Thank you, Carl. This is the beginning of that is the beginning of my affair with chocolate. Mm. Affair with chocolate. <laughs> there you go. It's a chocolate affair. I love okay. it. There you go. But uh wait a minute. Um, okay. I'll try to reheat a little so that the cuckoo sends cacao. Cacao, okay, this is cacao beans, but uh -huh. once it's roasted, we call it cacao nib. Wow. So the cacao contains of around 58 to 60% of cocoa butter. So since a while ago, it's quite cold, the place where we storage the cacao nib. So mm -hmm. I'm going, the secret is I'm going to heat this a little. Oh. So the, uh, first, so that the first part we did, that's mm. how we start. 
So for the sake of TV, we already have some made. Yeah, yeah. But she's just reheating it. Oh, but by the way, you can eat it right, right there. You can eat it right now? Yeah. While waiting. Yeah. Wow. He likes to eat. He eat eats it. anything. That's really, really cool. So you're heating it up. Since these have already been heated, that means we know already it popped in all of that, right? So this is just the contents now afterward, is what you're saying? Um, this is already after the removing of the skin. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, just like for the sake of the butter to come out okay. easily. There you go. How long does it usually take for the butter to come out? Mm, depending on... Um, just like... Um, how nutty you are? As long as it's like, no, it's like shiny, like you can see yeah, Carl, the difference. It's coming out. Oh, I see now, you're right. It's like an oil shiny almost, already. huh? Yeah. Okay, I think that's enough. I don't want to overburn as well. Okay. There you okay. go. Jam, sorry. Going to wash my hands first. What is that you're putting on your hands? I'm going to wash my hands. Oh, that's water. <laughs> sorry, that's water, you guys. Amazing. You have one of these at the house, Roy? I have a small one. There you go. But it's stone kind. Mm hmm But this is you and it's heavy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bash somebody's brains in there. You go. Sure, I would gladly hold your stick. I would like to bash some people's brains in there. Right. There <laughs> you go. Careful, it's hot. You're used to it already, right? And I'm a fire dragon. She's a fire dragon! <laughs> yeah. Stormborn, are you? Here you go. Just One do. more minute for segment. We might have to go a little bit over on this. But there you go. Okay. okay. Handing it over. This is so cool. Hold on. This There's is... a rhythm to it. No, it's good. There's a particular the beat of the drums. Yeah. And Very this is travel. the first time I'm you know, making the cacao de bola standing. <laughs> oh, usually you're oh, sitting. Oh, sitting huh? <laughs> usually I sit down and then like, it's like form of kneeling down. Here okay, you go. Okay, you can see the smell come oh, out? Oh, yeah. yeah. I smell okay. it, y'all. So then what's a... This the, is what you call the cacao nib already. Okay. Okay. Nibs, yeah. You can put this into... Oh, that smells so good. So then you... you Look at that, the mango tree is You make down. it out into a thing? Wait, yeah, wait until... Um, wait until they become like paste. Uh huh. But um, you have to pound. Wow. There you go. So because of the oil, it kind of, that's what pastes it up, right? You know, you have a kindly hold, please, girl. Oh, of like course. That. <laughs> there you go. Okay, here you go. Thank you, GM. Wow. See, in any because recipe. Because it's easy to, it's easy to mm -hmm. work when you, usually, of course, we, we sit down, we kneel down. down, yeah. Okay. Here you go, GM. And then, Ooh, look at that. then, not yet, but I want you to yeah. touch it a little. We're running out of time, so okay, we have sorry. to go. So let what me, we'll do is we'll go, into, no, no, no. <laughs> we'll go into the segment of how you the finished one. Yeah. Yes, Jeff. Continue. I yeah. should know. What we will do for the sake of time is we will go into the second segment. So we'll uh, when we come back, we'll show you how this is made. We will be right back. Welcome back to Cooking with the Pacific Star. We are continuing with uh, the Chocolate Queen Raquel. We are just about finished uh, pounding the, the cacao beans. Cacao, cacao and now nip, it's become right? like a paste, which go. she's going to spoon out. And oh. she's fashioning it. There you go. You can see the butter. Yeah, out. that's exactly what you're talking about. Look at that. There you go. Compress it. And that's all natural. She didn't put anything else in this. This is yeah. crazy. No. See, it's become like, you know, uh, it's, become, uh, it's become like, uh, you know, from uh, from dry mm -hmm. to, wait. 
So we usually use banana. Uh -huh. We used to, in the mountain, we used to use the banana leaves because banana leaves has a drying or a cooling to oh. make the tablea. By the way, after pounding, uh -huh. um, in the Bisaya or in the Philippines, we call it tablea. Mm. So after pounding, mold and then it will harden like this. Okay, it hardens. Yeah, yeah it will harden. So yeah. then after this, so we have to boil the water. Okay. I think it's hot already. Sorry, please. Thank you. Once the water, once the water boiled, we have to drop the tablea. So oh. after pounding, turn into paste, and then while waiting, hold a second, sorry. Okay. While waiting the water to boil, allow me to make the cacao di bola. Okay. okay. So the tablea is for something separate, right? Yeah. yeah. The other yeah. one is the the whole ball. This is the cacao the de bola. The bola. The bola. Bola. If um if Europe has queso de bola, so uh -huh. Philippines we have cacao de bola. Oh yes, I love the queso de bola. Okay, so there you go. Wow, you're pretty good at that, I'm telling you. That's why she's the queen. So can you make the balls as big as you want? Or is there yes. like a specific size? I like little balls, personally. Just, you can, also the mini gahaudi bola. Wow. So the reason why I'm moving my body to create a hit Mm -hmm. So that the, it uh, it makes the bola, the cacao, like sealed or shiny. Oh wow! I Close see it. it. Okay, the water is boiled. You, you want to turn this off, Queen, or you want yeah, to keep please. it on? While well, waiting for the cacao de bola to be perfect, but bowl. So here you go. Now that is a bola if I've ever seen one. But since we don't have a roof, so. So this that's is the how finish. the finished product is wrapped in. Like a muslin cloth. Okay. Yeah, and then their label is put. Okay. Sorry, Jim. Oh, wow. Uh oh. It's okay. So, normally, when would people eat the, the cacao de bola? Cacao de bola. Um, here Just you go. Just whenever you can. That's a bola de cacao. So, the application of cacao de bola. Uh -huh. Hold on, now there's a string there. Yes. Yeah. And this is quite hard. Um, so, wow. So you have to break it. So then, okay. all you have to do, you have to jam, we have to. Grate it. Grate it, I see. So you can grate into your cappuccino, oh, cappuccino latte. Oh my goodness, it all makes sense now. Yes, and then your, to make into your rub, your steak, your okay. barbecue. Here you go, your pasta, your pizza, and of Chocolate course your, everything, right? Yes, of course, your yeah. good cats. Oh, so you put it into G. Here you go. Put it everywhere, girl. Go ahead. Wow. Thank you, Jim. Oh. Here you go. And that's on meat too, huh? And like of course in your um curry. Uh-huh. Curry. Humba. Humba. Anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Chocolate. There you go. Wow. Okay. There you go. All right. Doesn't get any fresher mm. than that. So remember, mm. only one ingredient from the cacao nib. Pound. All the way. That's it. But you see, we never used any liquid, okay? No. Nothing. We used, we did not use any liquid. Yes. And then, okay, um, so now what is the, anything? Wait a minute, Jim. Now, since the, the water is boiling, uh -huh. right? Can you Turn it back on. Turn on the, here you go. We will drop this, and of course, using the using the batirol. So this is what you call the batirol, mm. which is tomorrow. Yeah. We're going also to serve hot chocolate in the batirol kiosk here in, in Pacific Star. Yes, yeah. 
Oh, now wow. Now I'm going to... It's like, it's like you're making butter. Tablaya. You know, normally if it's milk, you churn it like that, you get butter. Oh. But this one is chocolate. There you go. Oh, I can smell it again. Yeah. So the aroma is so the beautiful. The ingredient, so this we call it sikwate. Mm. When you drop the tableya, remember okay. the tableya? Yeah. Then when you drop into water, we call it in Visaya. In the Philippines, we call it sikwate. Okay. Mm. So now we pour it into cups? Yes. That is a lot of grinder. But, uh, Mark, please, can you help oh, me? You want to turn it up? Sorry, I, I, I'm used to to cook with wood. <laughs> I'm used to that. <laughs> so you usually use a wood stove for this? Uh, no, when I was a little girl, but of course, in, uh, uh, now, of course, lately, we just, just like, uh, used um, ordinary stove. And your recipes that but, you're using, is this, like, the ones you've been using since you were a child? Yes. And then, um, by hearing it, mm -hmm. because, um, okay, one of the indicator, if it's ready, uh -huh. the 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 consistency, the sounds is like it became like it's not water, it's a splash. Ooh, I hear it. Oh, Kyle, it's, really? It, it's, you heard it. It sounds thicker, if that's possible. Yes, but it's it's quite very hot. This is a sensual show, my friend. I'm telling you. Yeah. All it's of a the sensual, sensual, show. sensual Jim, for this amazing. Give me your... Oh, this one. Turkish coffee pots. Now it comes into. Oh. Okay. May I have the other one, please? Since it's quite very, very hot, so uh -huh. I'll try to make it into chocolate stretch. Like a tea tart. Yes. And this is since the GM in Pacific Star is um. Of course, Indian. He introduced me using what's this year? That's a Middle Eastern, yeah. It's and this a, is the first time I use this, so. It's a Turkish coffee pot. Hold the phone. You're Indian? <laughs> oh, I'm not Indian. <laughs> I just don't have the yeah, feathers. Don't know. <laughs> not and, that kind of Indian. And since, um, because it is very hot, mm -hmm. so um, in Aztec we call it the chocolate stretch or tea, in, in, in Malaysia we call it tita rig. So we call it to. Make the hot chocolate or chocolate uh, cooler a little. Okay, a little bit. Wow. There you go. Okay. And GM, so it's okay Doesn't also to mix yeah, with condensed sure. milk. Just a little bit. Yeah, okay. May I have one? We will drink together. Let us drink. Oh, yeah, I already so. prepared my pinky. Because, thank you. Now you can mix this with condensed milk. Yes. Oh, yeah. really? Uh, when you put condensed milk, mm -hmm. we call it Spanish chocolate. Spanish chocolate. The difference wow. of cicuate and the Spanish chocolate, uh, there is a condense on, on it. Condensed so, milk would make it the Spanish chocolate. I see. So this is the real Philippine Cebuano. Right you you, you just, just soak it in, it. right? Yeah. Mm. We're not drinking alcohol, so we can sip it. And we can then, sip all um, we want. Just to tell you, just to share with you, GM, that the character, the Philippine cacao beans, there's a lot of characteristic and notes of, of it. So. Mm -hmm. Um, I want you to experience and I want you to discover that by drinking, the way you will discover the proper way of drinking is to sip, drink like wine, then swirl in your mouth before you swallow. Okay. So sip, swirl in your mouth, and then swallow. Okay. I think... Nutty. Mm. Very a nutty. A little nutty. Yeah. Peppery. I think we are Very much so. a little bit on time, so... You know, we have seen how Cheers. you go from cacao to the thing. So when we come back, we'll show you the final segment of uh, what, whatever we are doing next. Uh, awesome. you know. Cheers, you guys. Okay. A salute, salute to Philippine cacao. Salute to Philippine In Visaya, we call it Tagay. <laughs> Tagay. Cheers. I'm there you go. Welcome back to Cooking with the Pacific Star. So you saw Raquel make uh, the the chocolate uh, bola. Cacao de bola. Cacao de bola. Cacao de bola from scratch and tablea. Okay, it's it tasted absolutely divine. Thank okay? you. 
So now with us, we have her two children. Uh, these are two of her children. She's got eight children, but these are somewhere in the middle. So these are the ones now running the thing and they are taking over and the next generation of chocolate making. And uh, at the very end is Hannah and then Jonathan. They both do different things. Um, Hannah, so what do you what do you have with you? Um, so what I have here is the Hannah's chocolate 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 nib cookie. So what makes this unique from a different from a chocolate chip cookie is that it has cacao nibs. But other than that, it's um, I may bake it with my hands. So why I do that is because um, I want to set an example, especially to people, especially to the youth, that you don't have to invest in a sophisticated machine just to do what you love and express what you like to create. And as one of the farmers, oh yeah, Hannah, um, <laughs> as a mother, as a chocolate queen, so. Um, she allows me, she gives me the floor to share our advocacy because one of our advocacy after, um, you know, invi inviting farmers, of course, to plant cacao, then um, our advocacy as well is to empower the individual, especially your, those uh, farmers, um, then the children and the daughters or the, the son of the farmers. This is the rule of Hannah now. She wants to share this because we want them to a farmer at the same time an entrepreneur so they can make their own you know from their harvest so uh, Raquel is known as the chocolate queen and Hannah is known as a chocolate princess in Cebu okay yeah. so along with that you have a book right yes um, it's not really a book so she's got like a it's like a notebook yeah right? talk about it so um, with the farmers it chose it chose them but there's different applications with cacao and for this, it's one of the different applications uh, other than just drinking it as a tablea drink. This is um, a cacao painting. It's a cacao painting. Yeah. Actually painted from cacao. Yes. From chocolate. Okay. So, and then um, yeah. inside that you have... So um, this is actually made for my 18th birthday last April 13. And um, so what we have here is some pictures of Cebu. So why, we, why I wanted to highlight Cebu is um, and we, in the pictures here is that we highlighted places that isn't appreciated by the lo even the locals. So we wanted to really show that Cebu has beautiful places. Yeah. <laughs> She's needing yeah. her mother to talk. Yes. You're okay. doing fine, Hannah. Yes. So. <laughs> okay. So yeah, she's kind of like I asked her, is she a model? She said, no, I'm just doing it for Cebu. Yes. Well, she could be a model. <laughs> but, um, because after all, she discovered that uh, Mama, there's a lot of uh, beautiful things here in our place, and then I uh, each time, show. yes, to show like each time I, I I talk, I always like inserted this that each one of us we have a promised land. So then Hannah, after all, she expounded it that she understands and she believes that what is your promised land, Hannah? From oh, my promised land is our homeland where we were born. So because it is, um, it has tradition and it has a culture that makes us who, who we really are. Yeah. Okay, now we come to our yeah. brother Jonathan. Okay, what are you doing? So usually I handle some product dev in the company. For this one today, I made the pandesal. Our ingredients are the powdered milk, whole wheat flour, eggs, lard, our premix, and of course the tablia, which is the special ingredient. So for this one, we double boil it and. Well, it's known as cacao liquor, but it doesn't really contain any liquor. So it's what gives the pandesal its color. So, so he's the baker in the family. Yeah. Okay, so he actually baked the pandesal. Uh, yeah, sorry to insert, when Jonathan um, allows me to explain a little further for Jonathan, when Jonathan um, mentioned a while ago the cacao liquor, yeah, cacao liquor is a uh, cacao in a liquid form, so the after grinding gems, yeah. yeah. So there's no liquor there's in no it. There's no liquor, yeah. yeah. So, so what you did is you mixed up all this, and then you created the thing, and this is the final one, right? Yeah, the tablea So pandesal. this is the color chocolate. <laughs> what do you call it? Tablea pandesal. pandesal. Okay. So this one is like a how would you call it? It's like a uh, pandesal. It's like sorry. So it's a type of bread. Yeah. So you break it. Yes. And, and then it it's like this, and then you actually you have the chocolate melted and then you dip in it and then you yeah. eat it this is what we call the the our traditional way of eating the pa, the pa in it we call it the pa in it the merienda or the snack so 
we used to sow sow, we used to dip our bread. And yeah, when I was it. working in Cebu in our hotel, <laughs> we have it on the buffet and uh, we and people actually take it and dip it. Wow, yes. it's great. Thank you, JL. Okay. Thank you. So, we have come to the end of this. So, you met Raquel and you met her two kids. And somewhere is Edu, her partner. He's somewhere around there. He doesn't come into the thing. And then Kyle is still around. So, uh, we thank you for coming and sharing with us in Guam the art of chocolate making. And um, according to Raquel and Edu, Cacao is actually growing in Guam. No one knows about it. We need to find it. We need to go on a trip to find where the cacao beans yes. are being grown in. Because apparently the Spanish first came to Guam and they, from Mexico, they dropped it off. So wow. there's cacao growing. So we need to we find, it. find it. We yeah, so need to find it. Yes. Okay. Yeah, on a mission to find cacao. Yeah, so, uh, okay. um, All right. So thank you again. Okay. Uh, she's going to be here tomorrow with our buffet uh, to show the whole demo of how to do this. Um, but again, don't be a stranger to Guam. You know, oh, Guam thank you. welcomes you. Thank you. And um, I'm sure this this program will be a big hit. And we thank you for coming. And thank you thank as you. well. Thank, thank, you thank you for very the much. warm welcome. Thank you. Okay. And when we come back in the next episode, will be uh, the June episode will be on board a yacht a ship uh, we did we already filmed it and um, you will see that so thank you for watching Guam bye bye from the Pacific Star Salamat. thank you wow that's really good